So, good afternoon, everybody. I will tell you a few words about fiber composites and why fiber composites. Ali told us already some reasons, but here are some more. There are alternatives for non-renewable materials. They have closed carbon dioxide cycle, new environmental laws and regulations, price increase in oil, and increasing demand of customers are driving us towards these materials. The research activities is increasing and giving us much better mater materials. They have very good image, natural look and very nice feeling. And they can be tailored to be biodegradable or non-biodegradable materials. The industrial help is, uh, uh, is creating new, uh, in the industry is creating new recycling possibilities to help, to help to adapt these materials in use. Packaging is going towards renewables. There are safer and lower weight materials which attracts also transportation industry. And not to forget about that there is about 20% yearly increase in market share of these kind of materials. Natural fiber composites, biocomposites, and so on. Various different names. Basically, they are natural or re renewable-based fibers combined with renewable-based polymers or petrochemical-based polymers uh, to form non-biodegradable or biodegradable materials. So as you can see, there is a whole world behind these type of materials. Then fiber composites according to cellulose content, can be said that there are films containing only few percentages of fibers, like few percentages of nanocellulose or microfiber cellulose. Then there are injection molded articles, extrusion molded artic articles, uh, thermosetting composites with higher fiber contents, non-woven materials up to paper materials with very high fiber content, and up to all cellulose composites with cellulosic plastics combining cellulose fibers. How they are made? Thermoplastic fiber uh, composite processing combines typically polymers, here biopolymers with additives combined with cellulosic fibers. First processing is compounding. The second uh, stage is then either injection molding, molding to different articles, extrusion process to profiles, foams, fibers, sheets. Those can be further processed to, for example, trays by compression molding or rotationally molded to large scale various shaped articles. Then thermosetting fiber composites. They are typically uh, including polymers like polyesters, epoxies, polyurethanes, or uh, renewable-based tannin or lignin resins. Fibers can be in shortcut form, unidirectional long form, in fabric form, or in non-woven siege. And processes like RTM, SMC, poltrusion, compression molding, and lamination, and so on, can be used for uh, articles like uh, different shape profiles, uh, furnitures, or car parts. VDT, Industrial Biomaterials Biohead Program, is having now about more than 100 persons working. It combines multidisciplinary know-how of VDT and utilizing generic technologies like biomass fractionation, metabolic engineering, enzymatic graft grafting, uh, chemical engineering, compounding, extrusion, life cycle analysis, customer solutions, and, and so on. And one of the key technologies is high-performance biocomposites. Biopolymer research at VTT. Okay, this is the other part of the fiber composites. It com uh, in, in VTT, we do work with polymers from biomass like cellulose, starch, lignin, hemicellulose, or protein derivatives. But also polymerized uh, um, monomers from bio-based origin, like tall oil or vegetable oil polymers, and polymers from bio-refinery bases. 
but also synthesize polymers, biodegradable polymers like polyesters. The other part of fiber composites is this fiber research for composites, where we uh, add different additives to fibers, do fiber fractionation, uh, do research on different pelletizing methods, physical treatments, chemical treatments, plasticizer, internal and external plasticizer, enzymatic treatment and chemoenzymatic treatments for fibers. In addition to get better fiber matrix, matrix adhesion, optimized fiber aspect ratio, better fiber dispersion, better processability or improved compatibility. The example of this improved compatibility is uh, one research where we uh, modified CTMP fiber enzymatically by adding dodecylcalate on the fiber surface. Compounded it with uh, polylactic acid and polyhydroxybutyrate and injection molded to articles. Found out that even modified uh, lignin containing fiber is applicable in biocomposites. But with 40% modified fiber composites, we get better processability of the material and improved fiber dispersion. Not to forget about that, we get significant strength improvements in PLA composites. This modification method is successfully applied also for flax and thermosetting composites. Another example is concerning more like pelletizing research, where we have done kind of a mechanochemical fiber modification with its own method to modify fibers for composites. It's an easy cost and energy saving way to add plasticizers before compounding. It allows reactive plasticizer or monomer addition, addition safely on cellulose fiber. Simultaneous can be done also on fiber surface modification like fibrillation. It has very low friction even with high dry material content, saves energy and solvent compared to normal solvent processing methods, can be used as pre-processing method, method to enhance enzymatic modification, and it's suitable for various kinds of cellulosic materials but also has very high output, even with small equipment. Third example is a physical modification method, where we can do inline plasma activation and depo deposition on roll-to-roll -roll based. based. Uh, we can do permanent hydrophilization of low surface energy materials, such as polyolefins, or hydrophobization of paper-based and non-woven materials by chemical deposition. The coating thicknesses are varying from nano to micrometer scale. The application for these kind of physical treatments are multi-layer packaging uh, materials, barrier materials in packaging, hydrophobic filter materials, adhesion improvement in multi-layer structures, or pre-treatment for activation or cleaning. Fourth example of our, our fiber composites are lightweight materials from bio-based foams forms like starch or PLA or biomass-based, uh, where can be added nanowhiskers or microfibrillar cellulose to enhance properties of the, of the foam. These are aiming for lightweight materials with good insulation properties, for example, for bio-based packaging or construction materials. And finally, I would say the future is bio-based materials, lightweight, high-performance, feel-of-nature materials, where the development focus should be uh, put in biocomposites to new biopolymers, additives, coupling agents, fiber modifications, uh, nanomaterial addition or processing technologies, not to forget about business activities, life cycle analysis or cost analysis. So, thank you.